is going to be a reading for Pisces. I love reading for Pisces. Last but not least, my Pisces. Okay, so I'm filming this on the last day of May, and by the time I upload it, it's probably going to be June 1st, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Pisces. I know we're cutting it really close. Um, if you are a past subscriber, welcome back. If you're a new subscriber, just so you know, I know that it's technically it's going to be June, but whenever you find this reading, it's for you. All my readings are timeless. So just so you know that. And I hope you guys like my new dress. Ooh. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and dive right into it. Um, I have my Rider weight that I'm going to use and my Dragon Tarot that I'm going to use to start off with. We are reading now for Pisces Spirits. So we're going to do four cards, please. First for Pisces from the Rider weight. My bracelet just pinched me. That hurts. All right, and then we're going to do four from the Dragon Tarot Spirits. Okay. Pisces. What you got for Pisces? Pisces. You are my last read of the month. Or, ooh, that one flew. What we got going on here? Ooh, Eight of Wands. Something coming in quick. What's coming in quick? For you, Pisces. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, okay. So, whoever... Oh, my God. Your guys' energy is beautiful. It's just... Cards just flying. I don't even need to shuffle. Mmm, very nice. Hold on. One more card, please. Okay, so this person, this person that I keep on reading for, for Pisces, I remember I kept picking up this energy of someone that was hiding, forcing, um, shoving back down desires, trying to control themselves. They kept shoving their desire down and pushing it down and pushing it down and pushing it down. I see them coming forward very quickly. Look, we got eight of wands. Um, I don't think they can fight the desire anymore for you. It's, it's going to come to a head really soon, Pisces. Um, and I mean, can you blame them? Pisces is stunning. <laughs> Your guys' energy is beautiful. Um, and I see like, you know, now this is for the Pisces that have someone in mind. Um, you are definitely, this is not going to be a, a shitty connection. Like you guys are going to build a life together. We have 10 of pentacles, which is basically like, building a life, creating a legacy, like, this is like family lineage, like, you, and then your guys' kids, and then they have kids, and they have kids, and then they have kids, and then it's like a whole family tree created from one moment of love, and a couple that decided they couldn't live without each other, okay, and I'm not saying it's going to be easy, I feel like it's going to be a lot of work, but I think it's going to be worth it. See, this card right here shows me that it might be a little bit of work. You guys might have some conflicts and issues. It's not going to be perfect. But I feel like it's going to be worth the hard work. Like all of those little um, all of those little things that you guys have done together have sort of led you up to this moment. So I feel like for some of you, like this probably started out as a friendship and it's going to grow into something else. All right, four more cards for this spread. And then we'll do four cards for Pisces um, singles, like those that don't have anyone on their mind, ones that have no options right now, whatever. So, all right, four cards for this um, energy spread that whoever's message is here, I don't know whose it is, but spirit knows, spirit knows. Okay, can we get four more cards for this energy read, please? Ten of Swords. I feel like every single reading I've done for every sign this month has gotten Ten of Swords. Y'all are going through some shit. Ace of Cups. Wow. Beautiful. Oh, my heart just melted. 
Nine of Swords. You're so anxious about this shit. <laughs> Every fucking time. Six of Cups. Okay. So we have Ten of Swords. So there may have been a period where, you know, you just were not sure if this relationship was going to work out. It was, it felt very... At times, like, it literally felt like, you know, nothing was going to come of it. Like, you, I feel like this, this relationship has been very traumatic for you. At times, it was very painful. Um, and, you know, possibly because there was something that was keeping you guys apart. And, you know, so there was, like, some fears and anxieties um, about, you know what was going to happen next but it's you're it's literally going to transform like like i said this person they may have been holding back from you and that's why you literally felt like it almost felt like a little death you know and not in a good way like not the french little death like you know I mean little death meaning orgasm i mean in like you literally felt like you were dying without this person at times it was that painful because your souls were so connected and right here the ace of cups i told you it, they're not they're not they're not holding back anymore we got the eight of wands we got the ace of cups which means a new relationship so this energy of like holding back is no longer you know it came this card the holding back card came out with the ace of wands i mean eight of wands so this is like moving forward super quickly. And look, there it is. The Ace of Cups, which is the energy of a new relationship. Also with the Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. Tells me that this has been a relationship a long time coming. Now, for whatever reason, when this relationship does come to fruition, I feel like there's going to be so much anxiety Pisces, you know, we got nine of swords, which shows me there's some anxiety. And I feel like it's because of the past energy. Look, we got six of cups. So this energy of this person sort of leaving you out in the cold in the past, not coming forward with their, their feelings is going to leave you sort of feeling like, is this too good to be true? You know, is this really happening? Are they really, are we doing this? But I want you to to realize that this isn't a crappy connection and if you keep getting stuck on these feelings of fear or in the past they may have hurt you in the past okay um but i feel like now their intentions are good so let's get an outcome card so whatever they did in the past i think it needs to be let go so that you can get over this these fears and anxiety you need to deal with those triggers so that you can guys can move forward and you can have your happily ever after, Pisces. All right, we get an outcome card. What is the last thing you want our Pisces to know? Those that have this, those whose story this is, those who have this person on their mind. What do you want them to know? What do you want them to know, Spirit? And they just keep saying, let it go, too. Like, don't let those past feelings get in the way of what you guys have now. Last thing they want you to know is the Wheel of Fortune. See, things have changed. Fate is, is on your side now. Luck is on your side. The wheel has turned. You guys have both learned the lesson. It's time to move forward. It's okay. All right. Now we're going to do um, Pisces singles. Those who have no person on their mind, no options right now. What can you tell me for the Pisces singles spirit? After this, I'm going to do your shadow message and we'll pull from the Who Oracle and do your spirit message and call it a read. Okay. All right. What do we got? <clears throat> Single Pisces, please. Whoa, that card flew out. The Emperor. Whoa, every single sign has been getting this card as well. So a lot of you, if you are a divine feminine, you are, you are 
calling in your divine masculine because you're balancing out your masculine and feminine energies. It's beautiful. And for you divine masculines, I don't even need to say anything. You guys are on your shit. You're in that emperor energy, that king energy. Whoo. And look, look what came out right next to it. We got strength. So you're taming all your inner demons. It's beautiful energy. Some of you single Pisces could be dealing with a Leo fire sign because that is strength is Leo energy. Seven of Cups. Oh man, we're going to have a lot of options for you singles. <laughs> Uh, the last card that just flew out. Let's take it. Judgment. Wow. Getting what you deserve. Okay. So look, this is a seven of cups. This is, this is a lot of cups. Okay. So <clears throat> this is the card of like a lot of dreamy, romantic, um, things sort of happening. So there might be a lot of weird romantic things that start happening around you. Um, there's going to be a lot of people trying to romance you. There's going to be a lot of options. There's going to be a lot of people trying to romance you, trying to um, weave their spells around you. And it's going to be, feel very dreamy and romantic at this time in your life. There's going to be no lack of romance. Let me tell you, this is what the Seven of Cups is about. Daydreaming, romance, um, options, romance. Did I say romance? <laughs> and then we got judgment. So this is you finally, 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 my beautiful water signs, my beautiful Pisces, getting what you deserve. You've put so much work into loving other people and loving yourself and learning your lessons and you've done nothing but experience heartbreak and heartbreak and heartbreak and heartbreak. This time you're going to partner who is your partner. This person is going to match you feet for feet, F-E-A-T, not F-E-E-T. Um, they're going to give you what you deserve, which is an abundance of love and lust and sex and all those good things. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, we're going to do your shadow deck. See if you got any shadows. All right. Can we do some shadow cards for Pisces? Does Pisces have any shadows right now? Two cards for Pisces shadows, please. Two cards for Pisces shadows. All right, what do we got? We have rules. Last one, please, Spirit. Aw, uh, and this one is not a shadow. This one is tenderness. Okay, so the first card we have for you is rules. Number 59, it is a problem card. And I think this, this did show up in a Pisces reading that I have done before. So... This is the shadow of trying to control everything, putting rules and regulations on things. For example, um, I can only meet my person organically. I cannot meet them through a dating site. Okay, so when we put rules and regulations on things, we miss out on life experiences. So the way to conquer this shadow Pisces is to... Let go of those rules and regulations. Just let them go. Decide to hell with it. I'm going to break all of my own rules. And I'm going to let life come to me. And I'm going to experience life on life's terms. Not on my terms. Does that make sense? Okay. You guys have been working out and doing a lot of arm work. Can you tell? My, do my arms look buff? Do they look thinner? <laughs> I love you guys. All right. And then the next card that we have, my beautiful Pisces, is tenderness, number 17. This one is 9 or 59. So 9, 14, 14. Um, yeah, 14. 
right? And then if you, and then you add that up, so um, four and one, so five. Um, so there's two fives, because it's 59, and then it adds up to five when you do the, all the math. When you add up um, 14, four and one is five. And then we have tenderness. This is not a shadow card, this is a luck card. So um, it's saying that in the very near future, you are going to be experiencing some tenderness. And if you look at this card, it is a couple and they're sitting on a bench and they're just touching each other's face like this. And they're sort of just um, basking in each other's presence and um, loving on each other in a very intimate way. You know, they're both just loving each other's faces also oh gently like this, you know. It's a very tender moment. And their connection is, is very strongly felt through this card. And the sun is up there, look. So there's the sun. It's all the happiness and joy, right? Number 17. So seven and one is eight. Could be someone with a life path number eight. All right, so we are going to do your horror. Whore. Why do I always say that whore? I meant it. I always mean to say who oracle, and then and then I like take the word who, and oracle and go whore like horacle. <laughs> Every time I did it for Virgo too, and I'm like I was like I'm so sorry Virgo, I'm not calling you a whore. I promise. <laughs> so silly. All right, so we're gonna do the. Ho I almost said it again. <laughs> we're gonna do the whore whore. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done, Pisces. Oh my God, you got to get out of my house. I'm done. The whole. We're going to do the whole oracle. <laughs> oh, I'm done. I'm done. Nope, there's no more reading today. <laughs> it's over. It's over. It's over. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <sighs> I'm crying. Okay. Let's get some character traits <laughs> for Pisces. I'm so sorry. I cannot stop laughing. Three cards. What are the character traits our Pisces need to look out for? Please, Spark. I'm crazy. <laughs> Three cards, please. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. It's been a beautiful reading. Sexual. <laughs> oh, I'm so jealous. I love that for you. Oh. You always get that one. Politics. Whoa. Y'all dating a sexy politician. Can I get a piece of that? An intelligent. Oof. All right. So we have sexual. Uh, they be all up in that, Pisces. And then we have politics. So they could be a public official. They could be a politician. Oh, movie. And then we have intelligent. Ooh, they're intelligent like a dolphin. Look at that. Dolphin. <laughs> Dolphins are very intelligent. They speak dolphin. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I have no idea where that came from. I just channeled some damn dolphin language from Lemuria or something for someone. Oh my god, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Fuck. Alright. I swear to god. Do not watch this reading. Alright, we're going to do your spirit message. We're going to call it a reading. I'm over it. I'm crazy right now. All right. Pisces, we are going to finish up your spirit message. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest, you know, for source messages. Spirit is like, you better get your shit together. <laughs> to me, they're telling me that. They're like, bitch, whew, I'm doing it. All right, here we go. They're like, we didn't hire you to act a damn fool. Yeah, y'all did. Y'all know me. Come on. We did the same thing last lifetime. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. We got the Miriam sacred vision. Ooh, we 
Choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light in all. Remember that love has no boundaries. My boob is falling out. Okay. The Miriam, which means the beloved, are twin flame angels who come as one. Oh my God, you cannot make it up. Twin flame angels who come as one. They are mere images of one another. They are the angels. Oh my God, you could not make it up. I know who I have to send this reading to now. They are the angels who appeared to Mary Magdalene in the tomb of Jesus after his passing. These angels spoke directly to Mary and helped her move beyond her grief so that she was able to commune with Jesus once more. They can help us move beyond the cloud of grief too. They heal grievances of all kinds, including ones that have been created by religion or the idea that God does not love or accept us because of a mistake we once made. The Miriam help us remember that we don't need to ask God for forgiveness because he never condemned us in the first place. There is a real opportunity for you to move beyond grief or grievance at this time. The Miriam are here, swirling their holy lights all around you so that you can regain a sense of union with spirit. You are loved beyond words. Choose to see the light of God in everyone and everything and to love without boundaries. Honor others and honor yourself with your sacred vision. You are in a space of deep healing and forgiveness. Choosing to see the light of the world will help you grow even more. That is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. I love it. All right. And this reading is going to resonate with one of my girlfriends. I have to send it to her. <clears throat> my girlfriend, um, my girlfriend, Kimber Kiss, dude, she's that reading, that message, that part was for her. I could feel it in my bones. I'm going to send this to her. Anyways, okay. Um, oh, and Kimber Kiss has her own channel. She's always linked in my description box below too. So check out her stuff. She's phenomenal. Okay, so um, I think that's going to conclude our reading, Pisces. If you want to check out my Etsy shop, my Chakra Bunny Sexy Soak is available there. It's for sale. I have it there now. It's in there. Um, that is my bath salts that I created by myself, and it is completely organic. Um, it is um, activated for tantric sexuality and romance, so they are available for the measly price of $20 um, on my website, <clears throat> my Etsy shop, sorry. Um, and money is just, it's just energy, guys, so <laughs> sake. What else? Um, if you want to book a reading with me, I have my own website now. I literally, literally own my own website. It's amazing, you guys. I created it myself. I actually own the copyright and everything for Chakra Bunny Tarot. So if you type in www.chakrabunnytarot.com, I pop up. <laughs> it's my website. Um, and it's also linked in my description box below. So if you hit this little arrow underneath my videos, it pops up my um, description box. It's got my Etsy shop there, my tip jar if you want to tip me, my Patreon if you want to join me on Patreon. Um, you can also check out Kimber Kisses channel, my son's channel. Um, let's see, what else? Thank you for all your likes, your shares, your subscription, guys. You, you know, this is my only job. You guys are my bread and butter. You mean the world to me, all of you, all of your support, everything that you do. I love every single one of you. What else? Um, please, even if you're not going to book a reading, check out my website, you guys. I worked really hard on it. And let me know if anything's off, if anything's not working right. You know, feel free to test it out and let me know what's going on with it. Oh, I think that's it, guys. Yeah, I think I think that's it. I love you, Pisces. All right. I'm also going to have some more Third Eye friends. Um, I'm working on them now. I, I purchased everything for them. And I do not have them in my Etsy shop yet, but keep an eye out for those. And I'm also going to have some more of these lantern crystal necklaces so waiting on supplies for those as well, guys. Love you. Mwah.